What's up, guys? This is Kaz Dolve at Your Craft, and welcome to another PTCGO matchup. So I have been playing the Zoropod deck as of late, um, just starting with it. In all honesty, I don't have a ton of experience with Zoroark decks, so you know I'm really just learning uh, how to play it, the optimal trades, all the kind of ins and outs that uh, go into playing the Zoroark GX engine. So like I said, still fairly new, trying to pick it up, and I have my trusty matchup notebook as well so I can take some notes. Um, had a couple games already, match one against the Volcanian, and, and the second one was a Zoroark Gardevoir. The Volcanian was a loss. A uh, close one, but I wasn't able to hit a choice band um, to get a crucial KO on a Volcanian EX. Um, I'd done the Coco, Tapu Coco spread damage early in the game, which was great to get those uh, Volcanian EXs in range of Zoroark with choice band and a full bench, but I did not hit the choice band, unfortunately, so I couldn't get that knockout. And then my opponent was able to get um, the return Actually, I shouldn't say return. I uh, was able to get a KO on my Zoroark, which really hurt. It uh, was unfortunate to not hit that choice band, but it was just too much of a swing at that point. Uh, maybe if I were better with the deck, I, uh, I could have won the game, but I pretty much left my Golisopods out of it. Um, obviously, the weakness, and I just thought it was a huge liability. But anyway, that was a loss. Um, and then the second match was Zoroark Guardi, as I mentioned, and that was a win. I drew very well, hit some crucial targets like uh, Curlia. He wasn't able to get a ton out on his bench. I was able to parallel City fairly early to get rid of, I believe it was his Lele, which isn't a huge deal. Um, but also another Routes, if I remember cor uh, correctly, which limited him for the rest of the game. He really wasn't able to recover from that. And I put some pressure on some key targets, like I said. Um, the Zoroark, as well as uh, really made it my priority to take out uh, any routes. Curly uh, even did manage to get one Gardevoir out, but I did take that win with uh, Crucial Puzzles, which seems to be a pretty common theme with this deck. So I'm um, on to my third match now, and um, it is the Unruhe deck. This, uh, the, the word actually, unruhe, is unrest or anxiety. I think it's in German. It's, of course, an X-Files episode. Um, and the Zoroark Golisopod deck was actually the first Zoroark deck that I tried. I didn't play a ton with it, um, but it's, it was pretty intimidating, and it still is. I don't know if it's just me, but Zoroark de decks seem a little more intimidating for me. Uh, maybe just because I'm fairly new to the game still, and you know, there's a lot of considerations what to trade, what not to trade, what to do. So I thought unrest or uh, anxiety was a really good name for it because it uh, definitely brings that about in me uh, sometimes. So, anyway, that's the deck we're going to go with today. So, let's rock. Okay, I'm not sure what this is, potentially maybe Zoroark Lycanroc, and then that Psychic is maybe the Mew, or Mew EX, or a Mewtwo from Evolutions. Okay, so not a bad opening hand it looks like, I do have the Wimpod to Zerua. So I can pretty much fill my bench right from the get-go, which isn't too bad. No energy attachment. Or I can choose to put the two Zerua down um, and then N, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to place the two Zerua, maybe get one more Zerua, one more Wimpod, and then the Coco. And then just bring the Coco out into the active. So let's do that. One, two, and then we do have the Coco. So that's nice. Uh, let's see, two Glycopod. Looks like one of my, oh no, there's the Wimpod. Three Zoroark, so one Zoroark is prized. There's the E-Hammer. OK, 
okay. And puzzles there. So it looks like you have a couple of ultra balls. And a choice band. Okay, so not too bad. I have all my energy, which is nice. Okay, let's do that. I will wimp out retreat and pass. So it, I believe it is the Zoroark Lycanroc matchup. He does have to Lele. I think at this point, if I don't hit maybe a Zoroark off the top uh, for a trade, then I might just end. Yes, so it is the Zoroark Lycanroc. Okay. We have the energy attachment, all right, which I can E hammer away. That's always nice. Guessing that's a single puzzle. My opponent has just a Bridget to retrieve, so I doubt they'd be using two. And there we go. So I'm really happy about taking this uh, E, uh, get or that special energy off the board. Let's see, I E hammer. Get that off, nothing to feel blower. So I believe I just end. And maybe that does disrupt my opponent. Maybe he top deck, or not top deck, had uh, a put a supporter, draw supporter at the top of the deck. So if I parallel city, he will get rid of the Lele, which is okay. I mean, it stops him from getting any more Zorua or Rockruff off the bench. And I'll do that. So I think I can attach here. I can Ultra Ball for a Galissapod retreat and then take the knockout onto Rock Rough. Um, but I do think I want to get a Zoroark out. But then again, this could be pretty greedy. But I think, oh boy, what do I want to do? Do I want to play safe or do I want to, I mean, I could Ultra Ball the Acerolas and then trade the Field Blower. But then if I don't hit anything, yeah. Uh, let's, you know what, I'm going to take the risk. Let's do it. This is a pretty greedy play, I gotta say, because I mean, I'm taking one prize, but you know, great. And uh, then what? You know, if it, I don't have any trades out, um, maybe I can slow things down by Acerola or using Acerola. Uh, but ugh, this. This could be rough, we'll see. I mean, if he puts the rock rough up, I can take it out with a first impression since it's weakness, but oh boy. So there's no supporter there. So it was the greedy play. But if this Galissapod does take any damage, I can Acerola, bring up the Coco, and keep the pressure on for that turn. But we'll see. Maybe our, my opponent's going to bloodthirsty eyes the wind pod up or something like that. Or a Zerua. Okay, the Lele. He might end, but I doubt he'd want to end. Likely just a Cynthia or a Sycamore. There's the Cynthia. He probably sees that I only have two cards in my hand. And he's thinking, I don't want to help this guy out. So... I don't blame him. But if he does get the DCE, like I said, I can Acerola um, and then attack with the uh, with a second Galissapod and then put some pressure up. But then if I don't draw anything at that point, I'm in trouble. My opponent's got two Zoroark out. So we'll see. I might have been better off if I didn't go the greedy route, but uh, we'll see. I, I don't know.
sometimes it's just fun to go greedy. And of course, the Zoroark decks run a th bit thinner line of supporters. So if I don't actually top deck an Evo Soda or a Zoroark, I won't be able to draw any cards. And my opponent just getting his bench back. Don't know if that was the first or second trade. Let's see what he's discarded. One puzzle, okay, so that's good. Oh, two puzzles, all right. That is useful. Uh, yeah, at the initial stages, he did the one and then traded just another. Um, one Mallow, one BCE. So will he bloodthirsty eyes? He does. Okay, bring the Coco up. So if I bench the Zerua, do I want a puzzle here? Um, I think I have to, or maybe not. It's unfortunate not to have that other Wimpod because even if I Acerola, I can't really do much. I don't have a backup attacker. So maybe I do puzzle. And it's two puzzles. Oh boy. Okay. So let's see. The wind pod really won't help me too much. So let's do that. I do have the Acerola, so I can slow it down a bit and move the Galissapod. Um, at least I'm putting on some pressure here, but I don't know, this is not good because he can just kind of take out my Zeruas. And it'd be nice to go after the Lycan Rocks here, of course, with the Grass Weakness. But I do have four Zeruas out, so if I hit one, maybe I can get things really rolling and uh, take my opponent by storm. But he is just trading away. I am at a 37-card deck. He is at 24. So uh, this is looking pretty ugly right now. Do I regret going for that knockout? What would I have done alternatively? I could have Ultra Balled for a Zoroark, traded potentially an Acerola or the Field Blower, and then got things rocking. So maybe I should have done that. But that's okay. And we have a Guzma, so he's going to retreat and then take out another Zerua. I mean, is that the plan? I am getting damage on the board. This Galissapod is doing a ton of work, um, and he put the damaged one up, which is interesting. And judging by his hesitance to actually attack or trade, maybe he realizes that was an error. If it is in fact an error, I think so, but maybe he doesn't have the energy to actually attack with another uh, Zoroark, so. That dangerous rogue is looking a little scary. He's probably going to want to set that up for next turn. So if I could take, there's the puzzle. So what could I, in my next turn, I'll be getting a puzzle if my deck isn't disrupted. What he'll probably do is I take this knockout with Galissapod and then he'll set up the Dangerous Rogue. Um, and then my next turn, if I'm not disrupted, I'll get the second puzzle. I can get back, say, the... And won't really do too much. So I think I just have to take the prize here. It'll be unfortunate. It, there's no choice ban, so he might not be able to take the knockout with um, 
with lichen rock because I only have four on the bench. So hopefully that happens. But it's probably what he's going for. Although I think, okay, yeah, there we go. So the strong energy. So what I can do is puzzle, I could parallel city, puzzle for say an enhanced hammer perhaps, get rid of that strong to slow things down. And maybe keep the lichen rock in the active. I haven't seen a Zoroark yet, so. But that's really good for my opponent. He can take out the Galissapod, which is a huge threat to uh, his Lycan Rocks. But that one Galissapod did a good amount of work, <laughs> I gotta say. All right, so I will parallel city my opponent. That way he'll likely get rid of the Lele and a Rock Ruff, I would imagine. And I can I need Zoroarks out here. So if I get the Coco, let's see. Oh my goodness, I hit the wrong button. That is rough. That is rough. And that could lose me the game. <laughs> oh no. That's sad days, folks. Okay, so a loaded up lichen rock. That's really unfortunate. That is totally a misclick, which will likely be my demise. Um, but let's see if we can pull it out. Unfortunate there. So I have. Only one enhanced hammer in there. Oh, okay. He double puzzled some uh, double colorless. Oh boy, that's unfortunate. That is a total misclick. Oh, the done of the discard pile and the done for the turn. Okay. I mean, he just needs to take the one prize. I don't know what I can do here. I need a supporter. I mean, even if I end, I'm ending myself to three. So I can... I mean, I can't, I need, an, uh, I need a Zoroark. But then again, that's gonna get knocked out anyway. I don't know that I can do much. I think that uh, misclick did me in. So I will concede. Sad days, unfortunately. Mistakes. They'll do it to you, but that's okay. Uh, on to the next one. That's a valuable lesson. So I was a little greedy at the beginning there. Perhaps I should have just went for the Zoroark and started the trade cascade. But, uh, you know, I was having a little fun, I 
I suppose. All right, well, we'll go on to another one. And hopefully we can take a win here. From the history that I do have with the Zoroark uh, Zoropod deck, which isn't a lot. I don't have a ton of experience, as I said, with uh, Zoroark decks. I tended to hover probably like 55% win rate, something like that. Which, I mean, I guess over 50% is pretty good. You're winning more than you are losing in the long term. Um, but I think I just, I have to get better with these decks at this point. So, wow, I think this is maybe the fourth game in a row that I've had a Bridget in my uh, opening hand. So that's nice. Don't know what I'm up against here. I saw Dark, Fighting, maybe another Zoroark. Oh, the Shaman. I think I saw this list in the Collinsville deck list, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember exactly what iteration of uh, Zor Zorwark deck it was, though. Okay, so I will bridge it. One, two, three, and I get believe a Wimpod. I have a Zoroark to evolve. Let's see. So I have two Wimpods. So one is prized. And then all my Zoruas. Two Zoroark, three. So one Zoroark is prized. How's my energy doing? So one grass energy is prized. Okay, oh, I should have checked the puzzles there. I can parallel my opponent. And I have a Zorok for next turn. I can trade perhaps the Ultra Ball. Um, it'll, or if I, after that initial trade, maybe I'll do that. Don't have an energy attachment, unfortunately, but neither did my opponent. So that's good. And the Zoroarks start to roll. Okay, so maybe I won't get rid of the second parallel city. It does decrease my damage on the Galissapods, the parallel city does, but I think it's worth getting uh, or disrupting your opponent's bench. Got an Ultra Ball, they discard N, there's Sudowoodo, okay. And for Lele, Supporter, which one is it? Maybe a Cynthia. Guzma, all right. So they'll like they have a DC in their hand and get rid of one of my, or my Wimpod, or Zerua perhaps, yeah. Good night, sweet prince. You serve me well. Okay, I will trade. Let me see. If I parallel city, they will imagine get rid of the Lele, maybe even the Shaman. I, I don't know. I'm guessing it's used for that revenge attack, rally back. But maybe the Lele will just go. Okay, and then I can trade. Do I trade the Ultra Ball? Potentially not, because then I can get a Zoroark. Maybe I trade the N.
do I hit an enhanced hammer? If I Ultra Ball for a Zoroark, I can trade my Guzma. I don't like that. But I like the E Hammer. Um, don't like it getting rid of two Guzma. But I do need to get something going here. Pretty unfortunate. Uh, that's okay. Those puzzles are there, so and I can get the uh, the Guzmas back potentially. Let's trade, and that's all we hit. So maybe I can bench Coco for the free retreater, and then hope. Um, Maybe it would have been better to trade the Coco. But hopefully that E Hammer does stall my opponent and they aren't able to get an energy for the follow-up attack. He's got the one BCE in there, I believe. Hopefully it's a miss. And it is, okay. So it looks like they won't be able to follow up attack, which is really good for me because I am a little stuck. And they've only got the one trade. And it has to be a puzzle. Okay, so I'll trade the choice band, I believe. Gotta get stuff rolling here. Steel blower. Trade you. Okay, now I can Lele for a Cynthia. I don't want to end my opponent. It looks like he's not drawing too well, so I think I'll do that. Only one Cynthia to end. Okay, hopefully we get some uh, energy, then I can put an attack down on my opponent. And a whip pod. A wing pod would be really nice. Do get the energy. I get an Evo soda. So that's great. I can trade. I had one grass energy prized, I believe. So I will go with the end. And I don't know that it'll do much anyway. The e hammer is nice. I don't know if I want to place the Zerua. I can get max damage. Right now I'm doing 100. Maybe I should have traded that Coco to leave room for the Wimpod. But I think I do that. There was a Zoroark prize though. So it would be just sitting there. So maybe I'm going to hold off on that. The choice band would be great, um, and then worst case, I can bench the Zerua in the next turn. So that's 100 damage. Let's get some pressure out. Hopefully the uh, Parallel City sticks, and maybe my opponent has a Lele and can't bench it because of it, so we'll see. Okay, looks like they top deck a Zoroark. And N, okay. I guess that's not too bad. He's really looking for that energy. If he can't hit it once again, I would be very happy. But I do hit the E hammer, which is great. So there's one double colorless in there. So I can get it off the board. He does place it on the active Zoroark. Okay, so he might put down a Lele now for a supporter. Oh, the Mimikyu. Oh, interesting. Okay, yes. So this is the deck that I was thinking of. Riotous Beating. Okay, so he's not taking two-shot damage. She put the Choice Band on there. Um, I will play... Do I play the E-Hammer? I don't think so. So I think I can Ultra Ball now for the Wimpod. Two Galissapods left, one Lele. Really nice to get that Wimpod out. 
I'm going to take the knockout here, but do I want to do it on this Zoroark? I don't believe so. I am going to retreat. I do have the double colorless. It's one puzzle. I still have my trades. So I'll do that. I will retreat. And trade. And two Galissapods. Okay, so I think I want to trade one away. And I believe that's my final end. So I will take the knockout on the Zoroark here. I have a Guzma uh, and the Evolution. I do have that Grass Energy still in my deck. So if I... Is there one in my discard? I don't believe so. And if I have the option to puzzle next turn. I can maybe get an a, or a Guzma, even a Parallel City, a DCE. So do have some options. Okay, so no clicking on the done. I think I just take the knockout here. Oh, and I can trade as well. All right, so I don't know that I want to trade. Maybe the N. I don't think N will be useful at all in this matchup. So let's just get rid of them. Okay, I have the Ultra Ball, which I can use for trading, and the Bridget, so, okay. Let's ride a speeding. If my opponent potentially has a Guzma or a Counter Energy for, you know, the, the Shaman, which will do 90 more damage. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Or potentially the Mimikyu, uh, which I think would be what he wants to do. Okay, so I have, let's see what he's going to do here. Rescue Stretcher for the Zoroark, Evolve the Zorua. I mean, these one price Pokemon do a good amount of damage, so they can't be ignored. But I can E-Hammer the Counter Energy, and then Guzma. Okay, so I have a Galissapod, can Field Blower, the Choice Band, I trade Wimpod, boy a Max Potion would be really nice, so I do hit the Energy, I want to see how many Guzmas my opponent has played, if any there's only one. So they do have potentially four prizes here, uh, but that's if they have the energy. So one, two, can he hammer that? Don't believe these decks play a ton of counter energy. I'll trade Bridget. 13 cards left in deck. I do have to note that. Okay, so I do have Puzzle. Max Potion would be really nice here. So I think I want to get an E-Hammer to really just take care of his energy, perhaps. And the DCE. I'd be actually attacking with Galissapod there. So I should have put, actually I could Acerola. And then maybe take some damage off the board. I think I may do that. Don't know if that was the right move. I mean, I don't want to ignore these one prize Pokemon. They're pretty strong. And maybe he only plays one counter energy. So maybe I just try and go for Acerolas to really mitigate what... Um, 
what my opponent's trying to do. So I want to get the DCE, I believe, for Galissapod next turn. That way I can armor press potentially. Oh boy. Ah yes, I'd attached the grass energy, so that's my mistake. So now my 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 uh, opponent potentially gets a free turn. So that that was an error on my part. And now they're going to get some free damage onto Zoroark and a turn. So I should have put up Galissapod there. That was my mistake. I guess the potential to take the damage off the board was just too great. Uh, but now they're probably just going to put more damage on the board. And if I get end or something like that, I could maybe not hit the energy that I need. So another mistake, but uh, hey, that's uh, that's what this is for, right? To just notice these mistakes and get better. But my opponent seems to be struggling to get energy, so I'm hoping they don't hit and I could uh, maybe uh, make it through uh, that turn unscathed and mitigate the effects of that mistake. So, and this is with the, where these, uh, with these Zoroark decks. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts, the trading, energy attachments, thinking of what to trade. So that's, that's what I really need to get my head around. So it looks like we're gonna have a knockout onto that Zoroark. Oh, the Zorula, okay. Maybe to get back into their even, um, even prizes. So I'll bring up Coco as the free retreater. Three DCEs. Okay, so I believe I do have a Zerua in my deck still. But what would I want to Ultra Ball away? I can trade this Lele. And then trade... Eight cards left in the deck, so I do need to, to keep that in mind. Let's see. I think I can do this, and then maybe Acerola. Do I have? I don't, so that's fine. I think what I can do here is Acerola that Zoroark, just to get that two prizes off. Bring up the Galissapod and then uh, Armor Press. So I think that's what I'll do. And I can just retreat Coco. I mean, if he takes out the other Zerua, it is limiting my trades, but I only have eight uh, cards left in deck, which I definitely understand can be crucial. Um, so let's do that. Let's armor press here. Or do I want to do the first impression? Um, I think I'm going to first impression. So do I have the two e-hammers in there? I do. And... Two puzzles. So I do have two puzzles, I believe, left. Let me just double check that. There's the two, and there's the two. Okay. My opponent's got 13 cards left in their deck. Where's their special energy? So two double colorless, three, one on the board. So maybe one's prized. Um, it seems to be. I mean, They haven't attached anything. Maybe they're afraid of the E-Hammer, too. Um, Guzma, they might want to take out the... Okay, there's the puzzle. So likely going to get some special energy back. And let's see what they bring out. 
they do retreat that Zoroark. Um, then I can Guzma for the knockout with a, what would I do? Yes, I can do it with a Zoroark just to keep that Galissapod protected. At the same time, I could crossing cut GX and then uh, bring the Galissapod to the bench and bring Coco up for that one prize attacker. And then put him on a seven prize game potentially. But I think I'm in a decent position here. Don't believe I have any Acerola remaining, but I do have the puzzles. I can't remember if one is prized though, so it could be that I have one left in the deck and one in the prizes, but I only have eight cards in hand. So, and no ends. Um, so I want to be careful here about drawing too much. Okay, so there's one, and I don't think... So he's left that up there. If I armor press, he has to do essentially 130 damage. And he can't do that without choice band. So I'll attach the double colorless to the Zoroark. Has he used all puzzles? Two, three, okay, so three. All right, so that's good. And I do have the Guzma play as well. All right, so I'm not gonna trade. I will armor press. So if he has a full bench and a choice band, then he can take two prizes. Um, I can Acerola next turn if he is unable to do so, and then continue uh, the onslaught. I mean, if he leaves the Coco up, I could even just try and take the you know last two prizes with the single prize Pokemon as well. So. Doesn't have the puzzle option. I'm trying to think, can he fill the bench? One Zerua, two Zerua, three, the one on the board, maybe the other's prized. Um, the Sudowoodo, looks like a lot of his basics are in the, okay, so that's the Corbellion. Thirty, so three six. Yeah, it looks like that will take it. Okay, so let's bring Coco out. So I do need a full bench myself to take the knockout here. So I can bench Lele. Um, and then do I have any others? One Rim Pod, two Rim Pod. I don't believe I do. The stress of the uh, I might as well search to see. Uh, I have the Orangaroo. Okay, so I can potentially take um, the knockout with Zoroark here if I hit that Orangaroo. So I essentially have to. So let's trade. I mean, I do have two trades, but then I really want to hit it on this turn. Oh boy. Okay, so I can Guzma and threaten the knockout onto really anything. I mean, if I knock out a 
And I do have two Guzma. So if I have one prize left. Don't think he can take five. 180 he'll be doing. He has the choice band. So I think I take the Zoroark. Oh no. What? Okay, I don't know what happened there. That's just really unfortunate. That's just really unfortunate. These timers, stressful. So I think he wins, right? So 30, 4, 8, 12, or he'll do 160. No, 30, 12, 150. I mean, maybe he's just kind of memeing, or... I mean, that Mew, if he can't win, then I do hit the Oranguru. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, is he going to versatile the Cobalion? Uh, okay. Interesting. I think my opponent made an error. So I did pull that one out. Did not think I would have. Um, don't know if I deserved that win. Um, tough to say. <laughs> uh, because that those timers are stressful. At the end there, I mean, I think I did have the right play. I just... Now would have Guzmed up the um, the Shaman. I think that's what I was aiming to do. Or sorry, not the Shaman, the Zoroark GX, and then put pressure on it and hope that he couldn't get it out of the active. I mean he could have. But I'm just wondering, the Cobalion, I mean, I had four prizes taken. So he would have done 120 plus one plus 30 with the choice band. So I believe he would have won that. But anyway, um, that's bizarre. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, <laughs> that was that game. Uh, definitely gonna take some notes on that one. So just dumb errors that you see there with hitting the done, the wrong done button. I think when you go in and out of the discard pile too much, it just can get confusing. So a dumb error like that. And then as the game goes along, you get the timer stressing you out, uh, which you know what, I think is good because it really forces you to make decisions quicker. Um, you wanna keep your pace of play up that kind of thing. Um, another thing with the Zoroark deck, for me anyway, um, just with the lack of experience, there's so many possible routes and things that you can do. It slows down my game. And when I did play, I played the Zoropod deck in one League Cup, and I had four ties, which really says something about uh, my experience with the deck and just how I, I'm probably playing too slow. Uh, but at the same time, um, I, I hit a lot of other Zoroark opponents, and I think the same might apply to them. Maybe they're just playing the deck slower because of, well, for whatever reason. But uh, that's something that I really want to get better at, is just increasing my rate of play, getting better with the Zoroark deck, and just not making 
um, of dumb errors like that online. Um, and there's obviously no done button in real life, but uh, anyway, like I said, it kind of do does force you to pick up the pace and, uh, and that kind of thing. So what a crazy game. A shout out to my opponent. I think they made an error in the um, in that respect there. I don't know if they were thinking that maybe uh, the versatile would have hit for weakness, but Lele Tapus don't have weakness. I'm not quite sure what happened, but even if they didn't bring the Mew up, I did have Guzma, so I would have been able to ride his beating. I'm just lucky I had that energy in hand so I could retreat the Lele. <laughs> um, but I believe they should have attacked with the Cabalion. Um, and maybe that was their intent and it was a misclick or something like that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to start taking some notes on those matches. See what I could have done better. See how I can improve with the overall Zoroark decks and that kind of thing. So I hope, I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, some kind of, like I said, dumb errors. But hey, you know what? We make them. Uh, everyone makes mistakes. Um, and all I can do is just take note of them and improve on them. And, you know, I don't mind people seeing it either. You know, I'm, I'm human. We're all human. And, and we make those errors. Um, but uh, anyway, there, there's a, a, was that a couple matches? Anyway, I'll uh, catch you next time on the next PTCGO matchups.